In this video, we're going to talk about layouts and how to put widgets uh, in a tkinter application in the places you want them to so that they appear uh, the way you would like to see them, taking up the right amount of space and being in the right locations. So in the previous examples, we've been looking at um, our first application here, which we called Fun Game, that had uh, a button and a label and a canvas. And I'll just run it real quick just to kind of refresh what that looked like. Um, we had the canvas on top. And um, beneath that canvas, we had a label and then two buttons. Uh, and we could press those buttons and things would happen. But I want you to notice the uh, structure of this window. Uh, like I said, we have the canvas on top, and it's taking up this area here. And then directly beneath that, we have the label. Directly beneath that, we have the first button. And then lastly, beneath that, we have the second button. Uh, and so why is it happening that way? What's deciding where these things should go? Well, the, the, what, the piece of code that is uh, placing these widgets on the window uh, is in these lines called pack. Pack is uh, one layout manager that's available in tkinter. Another one that we're going to look at today is a grid layout. So let's talk about pack for a second and, and explain what it does. So you can see here we create a canvas, and then immediately upon creating that canvas, we pack it. Okay, And pack means... Um, tell the main window to allocate space on itself for that widget. So what happens is the main window looks at the width and height, with the, which have been just defined here as 600 and 300, and then creates enough space in the main window to hold that widget. And by default, Pack puts the widgets um, on top, okay, at the highest point that it can. And then we come down and we create a label, right? And we also pack that. Well, the top spot's already filled, so it bumps it up at the bottom and, and so it does this sort of stacking behavior uh, and so that's why um, when we repeatedly calling pack here we're getting this stacking behavior of the widgets which is fine um, for this purpose of our first um, application but it may not be what we want to do all the time for instance maybe we don't want things to pack vertically we want to pack them horizontally well we can set that by setting the side parameter of the pack uh, method so let's say I want to say side equals um, tk dot left, okay, uh, and I'll do that on all of these. And this will cause um, tkinter to pack these items uh, in the leftmost available position. So I'll do that for each of my widgets and see what happens. Remember that's side equals, it's a side keyword. So if I run this now, I've said to pack everything on the left, and you can see what's happened, right? The canvas is now the first item that was packed. It's to the leftmost of the window, and then the label is um, to the right of that, and then the buttons. Um, and so we've, we've packed horizontally instead of vertically. Again, that's great, but that's somewhat limited, and so... We want to look at a layout manager that's a little more versatile, and uh, that layout manager is the grid layout manager. And so uh, I'll show you how to use that next here, and we're going to create a new application, and we're going to make a calculator, uh, you know, just like a typical handheld calculator with number buttons and a screen at the top showing the, um, you know, the calculation being performed. Now, that's not actually going to work. This is just going to be pur for purposes of um, explaining the grid layout, um, but um, I guess we could make it work if we wanted to put some work into it. Okay, so... Uh, I've got a, a new file here. I'm importing tkinter as tk again, and I have my main window set up with a title calculator. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do now is just create a bunch of buttons. Okay, so uh, button for every number, button zero. Let's call button zero button zero, and we'll say that's a tk um, button uh, whose parent is the main window and whose text is the number zero. But before I do that, I'm just going to copy and paste this. Um, and I also want to specify at this point the layout manager. So the way we do that, instead of using the pack function, we use the grid function. Okay. Now the grid function can take a variety of keyword attributes, but we just want to specify the row and column. So I'm going to say uh, row equals zero. Oops and column equals zero for now. We're going to change this in a minute, but 
um, because I want to do this for 10 buttons, the buttons 0 through 9, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to copy and paste this so I can uh, do this quicker. So copy, paste, paste. Let's see, there, there might be 10. I don't know. And I'm going to change all these to uh, the buttons they should be. So button 1, button 1, button 2, button 2, etc. You can follow along and try this out. Um, it's always good to try things out and not just watch the videos because then you get a better feel and you kind of your mind remembers what you type and um, helps you when you're doing your future programs. And button nine. Okay. Now, if you think about a calculator, um, you know the seven, eight, nines on top, the one, two, threes on the bottom. And, you know, the zero is sometimes, I guess, you know, even underneath that. So uh, we want to keep that in mind as we're creating this application because um, the row numbers and the column numbers are going to correspond to the placement of these buttons. And so if we want 7, 8, and 9 on top, well, that actually means they have lower row numbers um, because they are, uh, the row numbers start at the top and move and increase as you go down. So that's something to think about. Uh, we also want a screen for the calculation. I'm going to put that as well. Let's call that screen. And um, that's going to be a, what's called an entry widget. We haven't done an entry widget before. Um, but it allows you to enter text in a single line. So uh, that seems appropriate for, for this application. And uh, I want the screen to be on top. So we're going to use a grid layout. And now we're going to think about how do we place things, okay? So uh, as I said, you know, if I want the screen on top, the top row is row zero. And so I'm going to say row equals zero and column equals zero. That's the first column, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and run this just to sort of show you how it looks sort of step by step. Um, I'm going to run my main loop here just at the end. Okay. Hopefully I did everything correctly here. So let's run this, save it. Okay. Um, looks like I actually called grid on. Oh, I see. I called grid on all these, so all the buttons are uh, in a in a, on top of each other. So you can kind of see what happened here. Uh, I forgot I did things a little bit out of order. Um, I have my screen put in row zero, column zero. And so that's the first row, first column. And then I put every single button in exactly the same place. And you can see it. So it's put the buttons right on top of that um, screen entry widget. And the only button that you can see is button 9 because that's the last button I put. So put all the buttons on top of each other. So all you can see is button for button number 9. Okay. Um, but you can see what happened there. So they're all in row 0, column 0. Now we want to kind of put them in their right places. Okay. So I'm going to close that. And I want to think about... Uh, where these buttons go. And since nine and seven and eight go on top, I'm going to start with them because that's a little bit easier to think about. Uh, I want seven, eight, and nine to be in row one, one down from the screen. So I'm going to make that row one. And seven, well, seven is the leftmost number. So that's going to be in the first column, column zero. Eight is in to the right of that, the second column. And nine is in the third column. Remember, index, index, indexing starts at zero in Python. And so 0, 1, 2. Okay, 7, 8, 9. Let's take a look at what that looks like now. Okay, we can see, okay, uh, I've got 7, 8, and 9 in columns, but they're spaced funny. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. And uh, I can see that my entry widget is still in row 0, column 0, and the remaining buttons are still uh, in row 0, column 0 as well. So we're getting there, but things are a little off. So let's keep going, and we'll see how to fix that. Okay, so the next three buttons are four, five, and six, and they're in the next row down, and that's row two. So we'll make all those row two. And again, um, four is to the, the left, five, and six. If we run it again, we should see four, five, and six below seven, eight, and nine. Indeed, we do. Again, the spacing isn't quite the way we want, but we'll fix that in a minute. All right, one, two, and three, they're the row down from that, so they're going to be in row three. And column 0, 1, and 2, respectively. 
on it. Okay, getting there, getting there. Zero still in the wrong place. We'll fix that. We'll put zero beneath all of them. So zero can be in row four and column zero. Okay, so you know this doesn't quite look like a calculator. Why are why is seven, one, four, and zero in this huge column by themselves, and then eight, nine, five, six, and two, three off to the to the right and seemingly more appropriately spaced columns. Well, the reason is that when T. Kinter allocates space using a grid layout, it makes the columns and rows as large as they need to be to fit the largest object. Okay, so in this case, the entry, the screen up here, is the largest object, and so the column has to be wide enough. Column zero, which is where we put the grid, or where we put the screen, excuse me, um, has to be wide enough to fit that entry window. And so 7, 4, 1, and 0, which are also in column 0, are in that column that's wide enough to fit the entry window. And so there's all this extra space. Okay. So how do we handle that? Well, we know that when we're dealing with a calculator, the screen goes across all of the numbers over the top. It doesn't just go over across the first column. And so what we want to do is say, okay, yeah, I put the screen in row zero, column zero, but I really want it to span across all of the columns. And so there's a keyword for that, and it's called column span. So we'd say column span A equals how many columns we want that to, to cover. Okay. And in this case, uh, it's the columns for seven, eight, and nine, or four, five, and six, one, two, and three, etc. That's three columns. So we want that column span to be three. And if we run that again, we get what we want. Everything spaced equally, the entry window spanning the entire length of the window across all three columns, and the numbers placed um, in evenly spaced columns and rows. Okay. Now we might not like the zero being here. You know, zero might usually be in the center beneath the two. So let's think about how we can change that. It's in the right row, but it's in the wrong column. So let's go go ahead and change zero from being in column zero, which is the first column, to being in column one, which is the second column. And now we've got zero in the right place. And so this is how you use a grid layout to place things um, where you want them. And it's a much more versatile layout manager than the pack manager. Uh, and so you might want to be using this for your, your final project um, to help you get things where you want. Okay. Ask me if you need help. Thanks.